How is everybody doing? So, where are we? Well, we're in a different place this time. Yep. <clears throat> and uh, it's not a Disney warehouse. Nope. So, we decided to change things up a bit. It is? Cruise day. Cruise day. And that means we are doing seven days on the Norwegian Escape. So come join us this week as we do seven days. We're going to Dominican Republic, Tortola, St. Thomas, and their private island. That's right. We're going to do seven days and we're going to enjoy every bit of it. Why? Because it's kind of cold here in Port Canaveral. It is seriously cold today in Port Canaveral. Now, typically Florida does not get, but we do get cold, but not like this cold. This is uber cold. So this is our sign to say, let's get out of here. Yeah, it's time to go into a little bit more warmer <laughs> waters, because it's cold. So come join us as we go on the Norwegian Escape. And you know what? If you're new to our channel, click like and subscribe. Help our channel grow. Ring that bell. Yeah, unfortunately, there's a weather delay. They got in late due to, I guess, the, from the rains and the weather yesterday. And yeah. they just got in. Mm -hmm. So they're a little behind. So It's getting packed in here, but yeah. we're waiting for our boarding group to be called. Yeah, we are. So that's going to be a while. We were supposed to be boarding at 11 o'clock. It is 11 o'clock now, and yeah. there's still people getting off the ship. Yeah, so... And it's I a think big ship. Very big ship. I think the ship is 80% filled. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's going to be a little tight. Alright, well, we'll keep you updated. Yeah, we'll definitely keep you updated. Here we go. That's it, we're going on the ship. We're boarding. Sorry so if exciting. we're moving in circles, but yeah, yeah. we're moving. <laughs> the terminal was really packed because yeah. they're delayed in boarding, but we're finally getting on. So come on, let's go. Let's go. There she is, the Norwegian Escape. Okay. Rob, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready too. I'm ready. Let's get on this gangway. Thank you. And go on. For seven days. No cooking, no cleaning, no right? nothing. No nothing. No nothing. Just relaxing. No smogaritas. <laughs> this is the exciting part. Yep, we are now on the gangway. Get on the gangway. The excitement is real. This is it. Just getting on this ship. This is gonna be a new one for Cat and Mouse Adventures. This is the biggest ship and the newest ship. To date. So this is exciting. Oh, long climb up. How many floors this is? I think this is like a 22. 22 decks. 22 decks? I think. I think. Wow, look at that. Alright, we're almost there. Ooh, this is it. The is final it. steps. The final steps. And you hear the music. And here we are, even though it's cold. Ta da! We made it! And that's it, folks. We are officially on the Norwegian Escape. Vacation time. Has here begun. we come. I don't even know where we are yet. It's going to take us a day or two to get settled up. But what we're trying to do is trying to book one of our dinings. And some of the computers are not working, but this is one of the things they tell you to do right away is to reserve certain restaurants. That's how you do it. Are you supposed to? Two. And it's not letting us get past that point. But they said you could also do it in your room too. It was on. But because we we're even trying to get the shows and see nothing. Like, it won't even allow you to choose the day. I don't know. We'll definitely uh, figure so it we'll out. So we'll figure it out. But I know that we can also do it in our room when the rooms are ready. So now we're just trying to find something to eat. And I think we're going to go downstairs to Ocean's. Walking around. There's a lot. Guest services. She said at the box office is where we got to book our entertainment. Look at this main room. Wow. Oh, Ocean's upstairs. Yep. Okay. She said, forward one deck up. There's our shore excursions desk. All right, so.
pro tip that we just learned. Make sure when you get on board, you book your shows on the escape immediately, especially for fire men. There is a long line of people to get into shows. So you need to make sure you get those in. Calling an olive bowl. It is too packed in Ocean, so we're gonna try the buffet. So we're gonna go upstairs. There we go. Oh, so we're on deck 16 now. All right, so we're gonna go to the garden cafe, but this is the pool area. Obviously, this cold weather, no one is in the pool area, I don't think. Now we got our shows booked, our restaurants booked. Yeah, let's go eat. Eat and drink. Definitely. Kitty splash pad. Oh my goodness, the kids would have loved this. Wow, look at the slide up top. As cold as this is, I think my grandkids would have went in there. But not right now. But. Not right now, but I think they might have. But that's cute. All right, we're heading into the garden cafe to get some food. The buffet, and the buffet here with a view. So we have the Carnival Mardi Gras right there. And then this is the nice buffet. And we'll do a ship tour, but we just got on. So we want to eat something. And uh, then we'll head upstairs and check out the rest on embarkation day. As you can see, they got pizza and burgers. Taste of Asia. They got a dessert section over here. Dessert and ice cream. Oh, oh, no. oh there's a lot of desserts and ice creams. Woohoo! They got some crumble and cookies, chocolate bark and brittle, then juices and beverages. And it goes all the way down on both sides so it kind of makes like a u shape so now that the hustle and bustle of embarkation day has subsided the hustle and the bustle yeah it was just a long morning it was it was a long morning but after having our meal and having lunch just discussing like on the escape the buffets compared to what we've been on before i like this better because they have everything situated say you want a sandwich you have your bar for it you have taste of india they have a bar for it you have pizza they have a bar for it. everything is situated and yeah. spaced out to where you know what you want that's where you go yeah i like that that's the difference between a lot of the ships this i like this a lot this, yeah this this layout in a u this shape is is nice, is nice. Like so i mean you basically, when you first come in, you don't have to eat at the first place you see. Walk around the whole thing, and you'll see there's different spots. Food in the past has never been really something that I care for. It was food that's there. Yeah. Oh, hold on. There I am. Um, but this food is decent. I like it. I like the food. You know, different options. I like the fact that you're looking at the bar. Um, you're looking at the bar. And you see, like, it says uh, pizza. Okay, so you know that's you're getting pizza. You know, are you going to uh, burger bar? You know, are you getting burgers? The other one is taste of Asia, taste of India, taste of Mediterranean, salad bar. You're going, instead of walking up to a buffet and picking a whole bunch of different things, you actually know what you're going to get. Am I right? You're definitely right. And then dessert bar. Um, but yeah, so stick around for the ship tour if it's not already out and you have not seen it, click that below. Um, but yeah, come join us on this journey. After lunch, we're, I think we're going to head upstairs and take a look. Yeah, we're going to see what goes on and if the rooms are ready. Uh, I don't think they'll be ready till about 2 o'clock, but then... You never know. They're doing muster at 3, which they're going back to the old way. So you saw the video online, but we have to go to our muster station at 3, which we haven't done. Yeah, All right, so after lunch, we're headed upstairs. I have no idea what deck we're on because we saw a few of our favorites. So we have the magic. And we've been on that boat. That was one of my favorite boats. The ship tour and the room tour is down below. Yes, ship tour and room tour. Down below. I think I heard horn. No, I think that was the band. Oh. Then we have a Disney ship. I think that's a Disney fantasy. I have to see because we I'm not too familiar. And then we have a 
royal ship. And we have to see which one that one is. What was the royal? Oh, the jewel. That was the jewel. American diner. So like burgers and fries. And it is an upcharge. Let's check the other side. Oh, here's the video arcade. Rob. Rob, come on. All right, so we have the diner. Ah, Spice H2O. Adults 18 and over. Only. We know where it is, so now we go here. And over there is Entourage, the Teen Lounge. And this is H2O. Adults only, 18 and over. So it's a little cold for it now, but the adults only area, which I think we're gonna be spending most of our time here, has this little grotto when it's really hot out. Kind of walk in and cool off. It has all these lounge chairs and hot tubs and the TV screen. Got a bar over there. The 18 and over. This is gonna be a humongous ship. It's a kind of ship tour. I'm hoping to get everything in for you guys, but embarkation day is really just nothing but getting on the ship, getting all your shows in, registering for restaurants if you want those and your specialty dinings and um, your shows on a bigger ship. Uh, on smaller ships you don't have to do that so much but I've read that the Norwegian escape is something that you have to do it prior to getting on the ship or doing as soon as you get on the ship because they do get packed up especially if you want those spa treatments if you want those specialty shows like the one I heard is absolutely amazing is Choir of Man and we couldn't get it until I think almost the second to last day of our trip so um, if you're new to our channel guys please click like and subscribe uh, we do plenty of cruise vlogs and disney vlogs so if you're new to this channel you're just finding it click that link down below click that bell button subscribe to our channel come join the cat and mouse adventures family we'd love to have you large staging area where they do parties but during the day it's 18 and over adults only it's a very small section for adults only but there's plenty other places to kind of hang out and chill which I heard is deck eight which is kind of like the whole walk around so you got a big TV here what you got Rob I got you a prosecco <laughs> and prosecco. me a mojito a mojito here we are on the Norwegian estate celebrating 24 years of marriage that's right the cat and mouse adventures. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Best announcement ever. The state rooms are ready. State rooms are ready. Let's go see that room. Let's go see that room. So we're only up to 1390. We got to go to 1313. Yep. Oh boy. This is a long ship. Well, it looks like <laughs> the food buffet is on the back side and we're all the way on the front side. Yeah, well, at least we get our exercise in. That's for certain. By the end of the ship, so, probably done you're a few thousand miles. Mm -hmm. You're camping. Okay, so 13170. Okay. 1316. All right, so we gotta go 1313. We're almost there. 13136. Three, four. One, three, one, three, two. One, three, one, three, two. Oh, the door opens outward. Put your key in the slot to make the lights come on. Go in. I got it. All right, so this is one, three, one, three, two balcony cabin on the Norwegian escape. Wow, that's a lot of space. There's a lot of space. Oh, I love it. 
Oh, I see so many things I like already about it. USBs that they were, that we were. Yeah, we have USBs. Here, on the there, very stone. Well, the balcony. Woohoo, what a view of the parking lot. Yep. That'll change very soon. Call us back in about three hours. Let me know what you see. All right. Oh, we got a little table, two chairs. Oh, okay. And here we are. There's still people coming in. Going to Dominican Republic, St. Thomas, Tortola, and their private island. Uh, Great Stirrup K. Great Stirrup K. I get confused with so many cruise ships that we've been on that I have not seen Great Surf K in quite some time. I've never been. Yes, Robert has never been. That's uh, when we first started cruising many, many years ago, we went and we couldn't stop at Great Surf K because I'm trying to get him in the shop. The water was too rough. The water was too rough and we couldn't stop. It's a tender port. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we will make it. I Hopefully. made it once with my mom and we had a great time there. And yeah. We're gonna see if we can do it again. Let's see if my luck changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also we were talking this morning <laughs> that this is the first time we are actually cruising in January. That's right. We typically cruise end of the year or mid-year. So this one is a first for us so far, cold. Cold. But Florida has been having sporadic cold spells so we'll see how that changes yeah. all right so we are done with muster and we came up to deck eight which is kind of like the boardwalk all the way around hopefully we're gonna get to set sail very soon but look a closer look at the fantasy and then the magic oh Royal left. Yeah, Royal left. Yeah, let's walk around. So this is the waterfront. And there's the Food Republic, so deck eight. We're gonna walk all the way around. Yeah, we got a few reservations, to. but um, there is a lot of restaurants on this ship. So I think we have Manhattan, Taste, Saver, Saver. Moderna. Yeah. I'm going to try Food Republic, hopefully. We're going to try. Hopefully we can get a time. Uh, Oceans. 
And Cagney's. And Cagney's, maybe. We'll maybe. see. Oh, and La Cucina. La Cucina, yeah. So, definitely a cool area just to hang out. Look at this. The chairs all along the waterfront. These are the stores here. Yeah, and then you got your duty free shops. Trade winds, duty free. Yep. Yeah. We're walking back inside. Oh, look, there's a, oh, but that's a wine bar. We got the sugar cane. Sugar cane bar? Sugar cane bar here. We got. Oh, that's Bayama. You got the casino down below. Bistro is down there. Look at these glass staircases. Unbelievable how this is so beautiful. That's I don't beach. know if you can see this, but it is changing colors to like a rose gold and a white. The staircases light up blue. Very, very nice. Pincho's Bar, Bayamo as we saw on the waterfront. You have all the duty-free shops that open up when you're out at sea. So there's tons of stuff to check around this place. This is Bayamo by Ocean Blue. One of the specialty dining restaurants here. As we were waiting for a drink, in Bayamo, Ocean Blue, we're back outside. There goes the Carnival Magic. One of the favorite ships I've been on at Carnival. If you haven't seen those videos, click the link down below. Check out our playlist on our cruises, Carnival Magic. There's a ship tour and everything on that one. So we're at the Sugar Cane Bar. And they actually have a menu. I haven't seen the menu of the bar. But we're going to get two mojitos to start off. Tobacco Road Liquor Bar until the AM. Very nice here. Tobacco Road, Miami, Florida. And here. This is La Cucina, the Italian restaurant. We are off. We are off to see the wizard. Oh, jeez. Goodbye, Florida. Next stop, Dead Sea. There's going to be a nice Dead Sea from this balcony. Oh, I can't wait to get toasty warm. Oceans, and we got ourselves a table. We're gonna yeah. have some. We're gonna have some wings, fish and chips. We're gonna have some wings, and, and we're gonna have a load nachos. of nachos. We're gonna have a good time. A good time. As we're sitting here watching the Seahawks and 49ers game, this is like a good venue. It's open 24/7, so you can come here and get food anytime you like. Pretty busy here because it's the first night, so everybody's kind of here hanging out, watching the game, and that's the reason why it's busy. But we were lucky enough to score a table. We just arrived. We got some wings, some loaded nachos. That's just to start. And some margaritas. I'm sorry, guys. We were so hungry, we started without you. <laughs> but I gotta tell you, look at this. The it's wings, really good. The wings are awesome. Yeah. Okay? These loaded nachos, they're to die for. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's really, really good here. Really Oceans good. Oceans is your way to go. Yeah, look at that. Who came fast? And there it is, fish and chips. How's the food so far? Oh, my God. This food is amazing. Yeah, it's really good. Amazing. It's really good. Like, I can't explain how. It's bar food, but... This ship, the food has been oh really, God. really good. For cruise line food, so far the buffet has been really great. Top notch, right? Oh my God, yeah. And Oceans, which is 24 seven, open all day. You can get nachos and wings and Reuben sandwiches, fish and chips. It's really, really good here. So if you're definitely on the Norwegian Escape, I definitely recommend Oceans. Oh yeah. Hey guys, this food is awesome here in Oceans. I haven't tried the fish and chips yet, but I know it's probably going to be good. These wings are awesome. And they have a smoked barbecue. They're awesome. The loaded nachos, we tore it off. It was awesome. I recommend 
Oh, she is. Okay, we got the game on. You guys are on the Norwegian skate. This is the first place you come from, in, from embarkation. Yeah. Come right here and enjoy your food. Yeah. The thing about it is, is that you have the game on. So if you ha are a sports fan, it has the sports games on. So right now we're watching... Uh, yeah, I know the 49ers. Yeah, the 49ers. If not, you can get a bar top right here and watch the festivities that are going down below. So whatever show that they're showing in the main atrium, you can watch that as well. So that's really good and it kind of goes all the way around the location in a loop around there. So that's really cool. So if you don't have a tabletop, you can get a bar top and they'll serve you the same food, same drinks, and the main bar is right down there. So thumbs up for Oshian's from me. All right, guys. Uh... Today's been a rather long day. Yeah, it, the ship came in to dock late. So due, due to weather the right. night before, so it came in late. So we boarded late. And we left late. And we departed late, so everything was kind of backed up. Um, muster drill was back to the normal muster drill. Yeah. Where everybody had to show up at the muster station. And then having dinner and full from dinner at Oceans. Oceans, I'm telling you right now. Really good. That's the gospel. Of this ship yeah and the boat is really rocky um looks like we got some rough seas tonight yeah rough seas because i think it's cold out so a little yeah. bit rough but we are just exhausted we are done we are so tired i hope you enjoyed this video so far and always remember to click like and subscribe hit That's that right. bell button for more notifications from the ocean we want to hear that <laughs> tomorrow will be a day at sea that's right and it is our anniversary. Yeah, so we may not be vlogging too much tomorrow. But we'll see what content we can get we're gonna to. We're going to see what content we can get for you guys. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, we'll see. So from the Norwegian Escape. Cat and Mouse Adventures. Good night. See ya. See you tomorrow. Stay tuned.